Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today we're going to be uh, reviewing Jelly Break Deluxe. So Jelly Break Deluxe <laughs> is published and developed by Bite Rockers Games. It released on August 12th, 2021, and it is an ID and Xbox title, and it is $20. So Jelly Break Deluxe is a platformer uh, where you're going to be playing as this character named Jell and Lee, and you have to maneuver around the levels. Uh, very good platforming stages in order to uh, find items to pick up uh, and also uh, defeat enemies with your weapons. And depending on what certain platforms that you jump on are going to be different colors. And you're gonna, y your character is going to have to switch who's on the top and who's on the bottom in order, depending on those, uh, those uh, color uh, of the platforms. Uh, you can also play this in co-op uh, on the couch uh, with a friend or something. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it has online, which is disappointing because this game would do good if it did. But uh, the game itself is okay from a platforming perspective. Um, it kind of plays a lot like uh, um, those other plat you know kid platformer games that are on the Xbox in the past, uh, like the... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of one of them, but I can't off the top of my head. Uh, but there's several of them on Xbox. Now, obviously, the difference in this one is that you're playing with a character that has two individual uh, sides. Uh, granted, the skills are pretty similar for each character, like, well, each side of you, so there's no real difference other than, like, just platforming perspective. You know, if, if, you're, uh, if you're flowing with your green side, then you need to... You can't jump on yellow uh, platforms and vice versa. And so that, you know, that makes the game a little interesting uh, compared to other things you've played before. Um, overall, the game definitely influences you to play with a friend. And unfortunately, with the co couch co-op only, that makes it somewhat difficult for most of us, probably. Um, overall, though, the game is pretty fun, actually. The platforming is very well done. And once you get used to the mechanic, it, it flows pretty well and pretty evenly in the game. And the, and all the difficulty factor, the game is pretty much where you want it to be in a game like this. It's not too difficult, but not too hard either. Or, sorry, not too easy either. So you're going to you're gonna feel like you've accomplished something when you actually play through these levels. Um, as for the, you know, graphics and everything else like that, it's actually pretty decent for this type of game. Uh, lots of colors, lots of, you know... It's very visually appealing from that perspective. Um, yeah, so the game is pretty forgiving when it comes to your uh, health and everything else like that and the ease of getting more health. So you're not going to have too much issue with that. I mean, you will die probably sometimes, but it, it won't be too terrible. Um, as for the achievements in the game, um, they are not going to be the easiest because they're going to take some time. This game is actually pretty long, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, it's a good platformer game, so... Uh, I definitely recommend it from that perspective. Um, but if you're an achievement hunter, it's not going to be the easiest, fastest achievement game that you've ever played by any stretch of imagination. It's going to be pretty similar to all the other, like, kid-slash-platformer games on Xbox as well. Um, I'm going to give the game a 7.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty solid for what it is. I would give a little bit of a taken off for the price being $20. This should probably be a $15 game, but it's not way overpriced uh, for what it is. I just think that you could get more sales if you had this game down a little bit less than what is that. But overall, it's a decent experience, and it's definitely good if you have kids and that they're going to like this game because of the mechanic being interesting and unique. Um, and also, you'll probably like it too if you're just into good platformers. So that's pretty much all I got for this one. Uh, if you do uh, not mind, if you don't mind, excuse me, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day, guys.